Now, Sukasa and his men are gathered to the statue of Hilka, and then they actually revive him. Then they gave him some clothes, and they want to see what kind of skills they actually have, which he actually have shown how powerful he is. Then we saw Sukasa show Hilka the village that he made in his own image, where we've seen the youth have actually made a home for themselves, in which he told them about how he's going to make a world where the youth can be revived and the corrupt can be rubble, in which we actually knew that this is actually his perfect world, and we actually had right back where the battle between Ishigami village and Tsukasa's army, by which we actually knew that they actually tore Kyoga's spear. But it actually turns out that they were just the diversion. It turns out that the real goal is to burn down Ishigami village, as we've seen the bridges have been burned down and every home has been burned as well. Which is actually all in the hands of Hoka's right hand, a young woman by the name of Humura, in which she actually dodged their attacks with her acrobatic skills. And she was actually was able to create fire and use fire arrows to burn down the village. In which they had to evacuate everybody out of the village and out of their homes. Which they had to the science shed to actually give them shelter. In which we actually saw Suka actually try to save the kingdom of science. So she actually went to distract Sukasa's men and following her to where they actually think that she can defeat them single-handedly. But however, we actually saw that Senku and Kohaku actually know where she's going, in which she actually laid them to the sulfuric acid where the goddess of that spring actually appeared. But Senku and Kohaku came with oxygen masks and they gave one to Suika so they actually can breathe into it and which caused Sukasa's men to climb up the trees but we actually saw how Senku actually braved the gas but he actually told them that they made poison and so Kyoga actually tests that theory which he actually sacrificed his own men by pushing them down the ground and then let the gas kill them in which we actually can see what they are going to do next however we actually can tell that they actually need to make another weapon which that Suka, I mean Tsukasa can actually won't stand a chance so they actually take a page from a modern day weapon so they actually decide they're going to make smartphones, which is a perfect way to communicate with each other. So he actually thought that the only two who actually went inside of Tsukasa's army are Taiju and Yusuiha. So they actually come up with a plan to create cell phones so they actually can communicate with them. And also we saw Hyoga actually tell Tsukasa that Jin's report are lies, that <clears throat> Senku was alive, and the village have been rebuilding as well. So, Tsukasa is actually is angry at this point, so we're actually going to see what's going to happen. Now, we actually knew that they won the battle, but at the cause of the village being burned down to the ground. So, we're actually going to see that Senku's plan to build cell phones is on the way. So we're going to see that on the next episode next weekend.
So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment on what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy Drew here saying sign out. Laters.